In this video, I'm gonna show you why Google Gemini, and particularly the guided learning feature in Google Gemini, is so useful for language learners because you can make learning content that you can study on your own, but also for language teachers because you can generate the content and use it with your students. We're gonna work on three areas. Firstly, we're gonna use it to generate a grammar lesson, and that's gonna include interactive activities that will give us feedback on our performance. We're then gonna look at building learning around YouTube. This is my preferred way of studying languages. We can find YouTube videos and then get the guided learning to generate comprehension questions, to extract the vocabulary, to extract expressions, etc. And then thirdly, I'm going to get Google Gemini and the guided learning particularly to generate a story for us, but I'm going to base that story or I'm going to get a text generated. I'm going to base that text on the YouTube video that we work with. And in that way, we're really linking everything together. And again, we'll build some exercises around the reading. Incredibly, this works all works fine in the free tool. You do not need to pay for this. And I must say, I've become a huge fan of the guided learning. I'm currently learning Polish and it's massively helping me. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it please share it, please comment on it. But most of all, I'd love to have more of you signed up to my YouTube channel and don't forget to give me some hype points. Let's get started. Just before I get started, just to mention, I'm definitely not suggesting that the AI can replace a teacher. I have a teacher in Polish and in Spanish still, um, but what I am saying is that this AI can help you massively with the homework and with the studies that you do outside of your lessons. We're gonna work with the Google Gemini app. So go to your apps, you will need a Google account. And the, what you're looking for, if you scroll down, is the Gemini app. I've got it here, so I'm gonna click here. Okay, so I'm inside of Google Gemini, and you can click on new chat to start a new chat. I've already done that. And all I'm gonna do is click on tools and click on guided learning. And I just wanna point out, I am actually using the free tool. Now the first thing I'm going to do is get uh, Google Gemini to help me with some grammar. Now you can give the instructions in multiple languages. I always give the instructions in English, but I'm actually practicing Polish. So I often ask it to give me grammar explanations of things in Polish that I don't understand. But for this example, we're going to imagine we're learning Spanish and I'll give the instructions in English, but I'm gonna get it to generate some exercises for me in Spanish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write in here, can you help me with the difference between ser and estar, which are two verbs in English would be the verb to be, but in Spanish we have two verbs, the verb to ser, and well, sorry, the verb ser and the verb estar. So let me just quickly write that in and see what happens. So I've asked that my level of Spanish is A2, and I want you to explain in English the difference between ser and estar in Spanish. I always get confused. Can you give me clear explanations and lots of examples? So the explanation is gonna be in English, but the language that we're gonna focus on in this particular case is Spanish. I'm gonna click on this button here. Now notice as well that you do have kind of a deep thinking one. Um, I presume that in the free mode, you're limited to a certain amount of time for that, but um, I'm gonna just stay with fast for now and see how well it does. So I click on this button here, and I'm hoping now it's gonna generate an explanation for me. Now my experience in Polish is that these explanations have been superb. They have got a lot better over the last two years. And it's really helping me now with some very tricky grammar in Polish. Now it's done me here an explanation and I can look through this and I can see it's given me lots of examples of when we use uh, the verb estar and when we use the verb ser. Okay. Now, I could see what I really like here. Look at this. It asks me, you know, do you want me to do what would you like to do now? You can just give it instructions. Now, I'm going to ask for can you generate an interactive quiz with 20 questions? 
So I've asked for an interactive quiz with 20 questions to check my understanding of Sarah and Estar. And I'm going to remind it again, my level is a two. I'm going to press on this button here and it's now going to generate an interactive quiz that I will be able to do immediately. Now, if I was a teacher, I would be able to share this interactive question just by clicking here and sharing the link. Your students do not need to have a Gmail account. They will be able to click on the link and do the activity and they'll get feedback as they work through. As you see, as you work through the activity, if you click on it, it gives you immediate feedback. Then you can go to the next question. Again, you choose your answer, you get feedback and it will work like this. And then also interestingly, at the end, it will give you a summary and offer you more opportunities to continue your studies. So brilliant because it really helps you to tell you where you're going wrong and where you're going right. And it even suggests what to do after. So it will generate a summary and also offer you options for more things that you can do after. Okay, hope you're finding the video useful and if you are, please click on the like button because it really helps me. I'm going to move on now to look at building learning around YouTube. You can search for YouTube videos and then give the link to Google Gemini and Google Gemini will create activities around that video, comprehension questions, vocabulary lists, uh, extract expressions, etc. Now, I'm also going to give you a few tips when you search on YouTube how to filter for videos with transcripts, videos with a specific length, etc. Really hope you find this part of the video useful. I really like this way of learning. I build most of my learning in Polish around YouTube videos. So let's search for a video and we'll search for something in Spanish. So we're going to say simple Spanish dialogue around shopping. Okay, so we're going to keep on with the theme of learning Spanish. And what we're going to do also is that we're going to come over to these filters and it's really handy to choose from the filters just here on the right hand side to choose videos with subtitles. And I'm also actually going to filter for videos that aren't too long. So let's do something between four and 20 minutes, but not too long, hopefully. Now we've got a few videos that we can look for. In fact, we've got many, many videos we can just scroll through, but all the videos will now have subtitles and you can see that actually here it tells you that they've got subtitles and we can also see, for example, how long the videos are, etc. So I'm going to work with this video here because we've got uh, really nice because it's got subtitles. It's quite simple. It's only four minutes long for four minutes and 50 seconds. I'm going to copy that link. So just copy that link and I'm going to come over to Google Gemini. I'm going to paste the link in and now I'm going to just write out some instructions of what I want it to do. So what I've asked for it to do is to analyze the video and to identify eight difficult words or expressions that I might need to learn to understand the video. So this is going to kind of help me to understand the video. And I like those words or expressions to be translated into English. Of course, I could ask for them to be translated into other languages. Click on the button and hopefully in a few seconds, it's going to do that for me. And it's done an excellent job of that here. I've got these different words and expressions and it's really picked out some of the more difficult words like tela, de borbea, las, re, las reseñas, etc. So really, really um, excellent in terms of the way it's focused on key language. And the, what I really like though, look under here, it's actually now suggested a few exercises that we can do and it actually remembers that I'm currently studying SEA and ESTAR and it's kind of looking for now examples of SEA and ESTAR in the dialogue. Now remember I told you at the beginning what I really like about this technology is that it kind of guides your learning and that's what I found that's been helping with me, helping me with a lot when learning Polish. And look at this, what it said here. It actually said, if I, if you want to say the shirt is in good condition, which verb would I use? And I've now got to either choose one or two and I can just click here and put my answer. So I'm going to write estar, or I could just write number two. Let's just see if I'm correct or not and press enter. And it's going to give me feedback now. Okay, so in esta en buenas condiciones. And now it's going to carry on and give me another question. And this is why I really like working with this technology. Now, of course, another thing that you can do with YouTube videos is produce interactive quizzes. So if we paste in a link and I'm just getting another YouTube video to show you, and then I'm just simply going to ask, 
Can you generate an interactive quiz to check my understanding of this dialogue? So I've asked for an interactive quiz and I'm asking for 10 questions and a good suggestion can be sometimes to tell it your level. So I've mentioned that I'm A2 level in Spanish and I'm gonna click on this button here and um, it's gonna generate an interactive quiz. So you can see here's my interactive quiz. Notice I can just click on the buttons. It's gonna give me immediate feedback. I can move on to the next question. And remember, when you wanna get back just to the normal window, just close the quiz down by clicking on this, question, uh, this cross here. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, then come over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos to show teachers and students how to use technology in their language teaching and their language learning. And there's loads of content on the website. Also, if you're a language teacher, think about signing up to the newsletter, as well as getting updated on all the latest videos. There's a free 14 part course where I basically highlight some of the key technologies that we're using in language teaching. And many of the tools that I highlight are completely free. Also, if you were interested in having more training with me, then join me on Patreon. You get free videos every month with no advertising, and you get the chance to meet me online as well for an hour's training. We do an hour's training every month with the Patreon group where we actually work with the technology so you really learn to use them well. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Okay, hope you found that useful. I'm a massive fan of using YouTube to study. Uh, it's the way, really my preferred way of studying. I like to watch a video and then to extract the vocabulary from it, check my understanding and watch the video again, etc. Now, in fact, there is another brilliant tool that can help you to study from YouTube videos. It's called TurboScribe. It's completely free. It's one of my favorite technologies. And if you want to watch the video about TurboScribe, I'll put it on the screen now and I'll also put it in the description below. Perhaps after watching this video, you might want to watch that video about TurboScribe. What I'm going to do now is move on to looking at reading comprehension. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a reading comprehension that is linked to the YouTube video. And this is a really clever idea. So tell the Google Gemini to generate a story or a summary or a text based on the YouTube video that you've just watched. Let me show you. So I've said, can you write a short text of about 200 words on the topic of shopping using some of the vocabulary we have focused on? Can you also include examples of ser and estar? And I suppose I should really be very polite and put question marks. And now I'm gonna click on this button here and it's gonna generate a text for me. And along with that text, We've got lots of examples of ser and estar, and it's even highlighted them and highlighted the key vocabulary that it's practicing. I love this. I love the way that I can be learning new cut vocabulary from the video and now using that same vocabulary in a text. Absolutely fantastic. Now what we could do here is ask for now an interactive quiz based on this on this uh, text to check my understanding. So let's do that. So I've asked for an interactive quiz with eight questions to check my understanding of the text. Make sure you say interactive quiz because when you do this, it will actually generate an interactive quiz where you can actually click on the answers and you can see here immediately it started to do that. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. Look at all the different menu items at the top of the screen here. If you're a teacher and you want to keep up a little bit more with the work I do, we often organize webinars, online courses, etc. Then sign up to the newsletter. And if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a free 14 part mini video course in using technology in language teaching and nearly everything I suggest is free. If you want to take it a little bit further then think about joining me on Patreon. If you join Patreon you get uh, extra videos every month with no advertising. I just go straight into the training. Lots of ideas about how you can use the technologies in the class with your students and you also get the chance to meet me 
online once a month for some direct training and that's a real opportunity for you to practice using the technologies with me and finally if you want to go even further uh, join me on my very popular course technologies and approaches to blended hybrid and online teaching i do that in collaboration with nile that is the norwich institute for language education a very prestigious organization in the uk and that course has been running for many years and is very popular thank you very much i'm going to leave a few more videos on the screen now that you might find useful